Tom Brady is the GOAT of the NFL with seven Super Bowl wins in 10 appearances and three league MVPs. And Patrick Mahomes, maybe not even halfway through his career, already has stacked up three Super Bowl wins with two MVP awards. So over the next 10 years, we are going to be debating who is the GOAT. But lucky for all of you, I'm going to settle that debate right now because it is Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes in all six Madden games that they have been in together. There will be one challenge for all six Madden games and whoever wins the most will be named the GOAT. Real quick, everyone, I just want to say that about 90% of the people watching this video right now are not even subscribed. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And this video will begin in Madden 18 with Brady on the cover where Patrick Mahomes is just a 76 overall rookie and Tom Brady's a 99 overall still winning Super Bowls. And we'll get started with challenge number one, the furthest throw. Both Brady and Mahomes are going to get three chances to throw the ball as far as they possibly can. Whoever has the most combined yardage will get the win in Madden 18. So how this is going to work, we have Tyreek Hill going all the way down the field. Mahomes is standing at his own goal line. We're going to do three lob passes and wherever it lands will be how many yards Mahomes gets. And that's a pretty good throw to start it. And that ball landed at the 26-yard line for 74 yards. After Mahomes' first throw, his next two throws went 72 and a half yards and 72 and a half yards, respectively. So Mahomes' score is going to be 219 yards. And as we have Tom Brady ready for his first throw, I want to know in the comments down below, are you Team Mahomes or Team Brady? Who's the GOAT? And drop a like on this video. If it gets a lot of likes, I'll bring it to you with other NFL players and Brady his first throw it's not looking too great maybe 70 and I was right that ball landed at pretty much the 30 yard line for a 70 yard throw but Mahomes threw it 74 his first time and after that throw Brady threw for 73 and a half yards and 72 yards respectively so his final score is 215 and a half yards which will fall short of Patrick Mahomes 219 yards so Mahomes gets the first win on the board in Madden 18 where we're now gonna head to Madden 19 and in Madden 19 the challenge is gonna be tug of war now the way tug of war works is simple i'm gonna put brady and mahomes respectively in their own games at the 50 yard line they'll each get three plays to pick up as many yards as they can as an offense whoever goes further down the field will get the win so we were at the 50 the patriots are taking on the chiefs they're gonna play each other's defenses to make it fair so tom brady's gonna start with the ball He's down 1-0 in this video. He's going to hand it off to Burkhead, and Rex Burkhead is going to get this team four yards. Now, we are in New England for this challenge, but we'll have a challenge where we're in Kansas City to make it fair. So, Tom going to go with a run, going to go with another run. We're not going to see Tom even throw the ball. Oh, what a spin by Burkhead, though! Tom Brady, he doesn't need to throw or pass on this drive. It's all about how he conducts the offense. And Rex Burkhead, I thought that might have been like a gain of one or two. Just got the Patriots like 20 yards. So this is Brady's last play. If he happens to get in the end zone, he'll have a touchdown and three plays. If that happens, I'll explain what goes down if Patrick also scores a touchdown. But we will see a Brady pass. Brady all day. Going to dump it off to James White. And this drive ends at the 21. But now we have the Chiefs and Mahomes. He's got to beat the 21-yard line in three plays. He's also going to hand it off. That one to Damian Williams. Why won't these guys throw? Come on, Patrick. Throw this ball. They're going to run it again. Oh my goodness, that one to Kareem Hunt. What's with these guys running it so much? It is third down, so Mahomes will 100% throw here, but he's got to get a 23-yard pickup. So Mahomes will throw if he does not pick up 23. It will be Brady who gets the win. There's no way they're going to run on third and four, are they? What are we doing? Play action. Mahomes. That's a deep throw, and it's caught! Sammy Watkins! Sammy Watkins gets him to the Patriots 10. Mahomes clutches up on that third down. So Patrick Mahomes gets another win in Madden 19. So now we head to Madden 20 for Mahomes cover athlete year. Where Mahomes is up to a 97 overall X factor. And Tom Brady's a 96 overall. And the challenge for Madden 20 is a 99 yard touchdown battle. So for this one, I do have to take control of both Mahomes and Tom Brady. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to air this ball down the field the best I can for both of them because they're not going to know to throw the 99-yarder, so I'm manually going to have to do it. I'm going to try my best to not get yelled at in the comments and pick the guy that is open and try to get this 99-yarder. We're going to go five wide. What a catch by Demarcus Robinson. Mahomes, though, does have Bazooka, and he does have Tyreek Hill as well, who was about to get open. I couldn't quite get it to him. That would have been probably a touchdown for Mahomes. And Tom Brady needs to get this challenge. Because he doesn't have one win yet. Look at the pressure. Tom Brady, the current GOAT without one nine. Oh my God. Again, I was just ready to get rid of it. I need a half extra second 
And that's going to be a touchdown. I'm going to run the same play for Brady, by the way. Same play will be called for Tom Brady. Demarcus Robinson's getting crazy over there. Step up. Mahomes. Tyreek. He will set the score to beat for Mahomes because no way is he losing this foot race. It's a minute 14. So Brady needs this. I have a countdown timer for him because he's got to beat a minute 14. He hits Philip Dorsett. Tom Brady is not out of this just yet as he is going to break this time easily on his first play for the 99 yarder. That's goat stuff right there. So that means in Madden 20, Tom Brady picks up a big win to make the score two to one. And that's going to bring us to Madden 21 where Mahomes is a 99 overall. And Tom Brady's on the Buccaneers as a 96 overall. And for Madden 21, the challenge for Mahomes and and Tom Brady is a season simulation. And there will be multiple ways to earn points. Whoever earns more points in the season simulation will get the win. Whoever has more passing yards between Brady and Mahomes will earn a point. Whoever has more passing touchdowns between Brady and Mahomes in the simulation will earn a point. If your team has a winning record, that's going to earn you another point. If you happen to win league MVP, that will earn one of them two points. And if one of them wins the Super Bowl, that's three points. So I finished simulating the season and taking a look at both of their passing touchdowns and passing yards. It looks like Tom Brady beat out Patrick Mahomes in both passing yards and passing touchdowns, so he already has two points. Both the Chiefs and the Buccaneers had winning records with the Chiefs going 10-6 and six and the Bucs going 11-5, and five, so they'll both earn a point for that. So it all comes down to the Super Bowl now with Tom Brady leading three points to one point. So the only thing left to do is simulate to the Super Bowl, see if either man is playing in it. And it looks like the Super Bowl winded up being the Packers and the Browns. We're just going to put our overall video at two wins apiece as Brady gets the win in Madden 21. And now we go to the game with them both on the cover, Madden 22, where Mahomes is a 97 overall and Tom Brady is a 99 overall. Now, this challenge is very simple to explain. Both men going to have a drive to score a touchdown on the other one's defense. Whoever does it faster is going to be the winner. So here we go. We are in Kansas City. I told you we bring a challenge to Kansas City. It is first to score. The timer begins and the first play from scrimmage is a C. EH run for one yard. Now, what's a little unfortunate, it doesn't go straight into the next play, but it's going to be the same for both of them. We have to stand here for about 20, 30 seconds just watching these players in the huddle. I don't get why that's a thing back in Madden 22. We're talking next gen. I got to stand and watch people in the huddle. Mahomes going to throw it to Kelsey. He's got a nice completion for about seven yards, a little short of the first down. So what's going to happen if Mahomes does not pick up this first down and they have to punt, I will pause the timer. And then I am going to go over to Tom Brady. We are going to start a new timer. And if he happens to score, that'll be the score to beat. And then Mahomes will have whatever remaining time to score the touchdown. Or if Tom Brady scores before even a minute five, like we're at right now, he'll win. But right now, Mahomes, a minute and 20 seconds in. He's going to motion over Tyreek Hill. Still has Tyreek on this team. He's going to go with a pass to Tyreek. And he's not going to get the first so they are going to go ahead and punt. We are going to pause the timer at a minute 31 and flip over to Brady. So we're over with Brady now. I'm going to put the current Mahomes time on the screen as we're going to start a fresh timer for Tom Brady. I believe it's about a minute 31 seconds. So if Tom Brady scores before a minute 31, he wins right there. If the drive keeps going after that, we're going to keep his timer going. If he happens to get in the end zone on this drive, we're going to pause it, flip over to Mahomes, and that'll be the score to beat. I don't know who thought this was a good idea at EA. Watching Tom, Mike Evans, I'm like in the middle of the huddle here. I got to hear them talking about nothing because it's not even real. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Just get me straight back to the line of scrimmage. Get me back to the action. That's going to be Godwin for another catch for a first. Literally taking about 30 seconds to get to the line. It's actually better in the newer Madden games, but this is only a few years ago. Why is it 40 seconds to get to the next play? What are we looking at? Okay, let's go. This is taking all the fun out of this challenge. Madden 22. I will never do a Super Sim Madden 22 again. Hopefully Brady can score quickly. That's going to be Mike Evans for what? Five yards? Tom does not need to throw the touchdown or run it in. He's probably not going to run it unless it's a QB sneak at the one. He just has to conduct the drive. That gets in the end zone. So if Leonard Fournette gets in by a rush or whoever else are the running backs of this team, maybe Ronald Jones is the running back too at this point. If he gets in the end zone, that's going to be a touchdown for Tom. We will stop the timer is we're four minutes and 30 seconds in get to the line finally at the line of scrimmage throw the touchdown i don't want to see another run is that giovanni bernard it's bernard for three i'm praying for somebody to throw this in the end zone i'm really hoping that tom throws it in the end zone at this point because 
The amount of time it takes in between plays is ridiculous. That's Giovanni Bernard, I believe, to the three-yard line. And the Buccaneers are knocking on the door. Leonard Fournette in the backfield. Mike Evans. One-on-one -on -one top of the screen. Gonna go to Gronk. Who else in the red zone? Oh, I forgot to stop the timer. About six minutes. I would say 48 seconds for the touchdown for Tom Brady. One drive is all it took. Now we go back to Mahomes. And as soon as the ball is snapped, we resume the timer. And Mahomes' time restarts at a minute 31. Here we go. Mahomes gonna have to get some chunk plays. That's gonna be CH for 15. That's a nice way to start it. I actually wonder how many minutes I've really been watching live action and how many minutes or seconds I've been wasting watching us get to the line all for us to lose two yards, CEH. And they're really gonna punt. That is so big for Mahomes' time. So we are gonna stop the timer four minutes 27 seconds. I don't know if they're going to get it done. Actually, not much harm done, though. They wound up getting the ball at the 47 on their next drive. Pretty much exactly where they punted from. Snap is there. And CEH with a stiff arm to get a couple positive. Actually, no, I think he lost the yard. The way it's been taking forever to get to the line of scrimmage. I'm going to say Mahomes has one, maybe two more plays to get in the end zone. He's taking the shot, though. And he has a man. Me call Hardman to the one. That's unbelievable. Game, get them to the line. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at my time. I think it's six minutes and 48 seconds for Tom. It might be a photo finish. What a throw, what a catch. It's gonna come down to this last play because they take an hour to get to the line of scrimmage. This is it. I'm watching the time. It can't get closer than this. Will they get in the end zone? Mahomes, caught. I think they got it. I'm going to have to go to the instant replay to see exactly when Brady got in with his team. Touchdown, Demarcus Robinson. And after watching both touchdowns side by side, this was decided by one second. Gronkowski was one second earlier, which means Brady gets the win in Madden 22 to take a 3-2 lead with one game to go. But this video is not over because the final challenge of the video is a full game Super Bowl and it's worth two points. So the winner will take all. Tom Brady with the lead right now, but the Super Bowl is worth two points. So whoever wins this, wins it all. Will Tom Brady clutch up when it matters like he's done so many times in his career? But will Patrick Mahomes clutch up when it matters, which is what he's done in his career? Both of these guys, the only two players to win a Super Bowl in overtime. Patrick Mahomes last year, Tom Brady, Super Bowl 51, I believe, against the Atlanta Falcons. And I like this game. We are getting right to the line of scrimmage. No waiting around. Shout out to Matt at 23. I never want to do another Matt at 22 Super Sim again. We're going to watch both guys on offense to start. And that's going to be a flag. Maybe rough in the passer. There's no foul. It should be a ref. I know exactly when it's going to happen, when it happens. So that's going to be a rough in the passer call. We're going to watch both of these guys' offensive drives to start the game. And then we're going to simulate fast through this. We're going to see where this game stands late. If it's close, we're going to jump in. Brady, I mean, all day to throw. Protection is great. Going to hit a wide open Mike Evans to the 20. For the 20 becomes first and 15 from the 25. And that's going to be, I believe, Rashad White. I do not remember him wearing 29. I knew he didn't wear one the entire time. I thought it was like 24 for some reason. I did not know it was 29. So Rashad White gets the carry. He picks up six. Second and nine. Brady going to pass. Going to go over the middle. Looks like Godwin and maybe Kate Otten got caught up. I mean, we are just fast skipping to the next play. I love it. Fast-paced action. This is what it should have been always. I don't need to jump into the huddle for 30 seconds. That one's going to be called for a first down by Chris Godwin. Brady had Rashad White in the flat. Instead, Mike Evans is a walking touchdown machine. Buck strike first. We might be in for an all-time great Super Bowl. The first time these two went out in the Super Bowl, or the only time, I should say, it was an absolute blowout in favor of the Buccaneers. This time around, the Chiefs might be able to answer this score for score, touchdown for touchdown. At the 16-yard line now. Mahomes going to go empty. You got Juju to his right. I believe that's Miko Hardman to his left. Kelsey over the middle. He's going to go to Miko Hardman. And Hardman's going to get to the nine. We see a run on second and goal from the two now. Mahomes, no. Instead, will pass. Going to look for Kelsey. Who else? Travis. Kelsey. Chiefs tied up. And now we skip through this game a little bit. Tom does not get the touchdown, but Mahomes gets three. Tom takes the lead. Mahomes takes it right back. Tom takes it right back. Mahomes takes it right back. It's 27-21, 35-21. Tom gets the touchdown. Mahomes puts up 42. 
Tom, can he come back? I don't think he can. I don't think he can. Mahomes is draining the clock. It's third and 12, up by two scores. It's a first and 10. I think this one is done. Tom Brady is knocked off the GOAT pedestal in the NFL as Patrick Mahomes is now the NFL GOAT. Mahomes will hoist this Lombardi, which means way more than any of the other ones he's received. He just beat Tom Brady. Which means we end this video by giving Mahomes two points from out of 23 and a 4-3 to three victory.